Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about medical coding interview questions as a fresher. So let's move into the topic. As we already discussed a few topics in the previous video, what is medical coding, eligibility, salary, and these all. If you didn't watch, I will mention the link in the description. You can watch it and go through. So mostly they will ask about what is the smallest and longest bone in the human body. The step is bone along with to other bones the malus and incus are known to be the smallest bone in the human body it is located in the middle ear so here the smallest bone is the stapes incus and malus two bones are located in the ear and the longest bone here you can see uh, longest bone is a thigh bone it is also called as the femur and the use less bone in human body it is coccyx which is the tail part of the spinal cord here you can see this part is the coccyx last part of the of the spinal cord thigh bone femur how many organ systems are there in the human body so uh, they will ask this question in different ways organ systems or body systems or else uh, normal systems uh, we have to say that total 11 systems here you can see the see uh, integumentary system skeletal system endocrine system muscular system cardiovascular system nervous system lymphatic system respiratory system digestive system urinary system and reproductive system this is about a system and they will ask a question about explain any one system or else they will give us explain digestive system or cardiovascular system or else skeletal system they will ask any uh, different ways questions might be about any one system or else they will give the choice and the one more question is epiglottis uh, it is it will be asked in very rare cases and the main function of epiglottis is to seal off the windpipe during eating so that the food is not accidentally inhaled. I will show you one video. Here you can see the picture epiglottis and esophagus larynx. When we take the food you can see from the lips, tongue and then the food is entered into the esophagus at that time the epiglot is used to close the windpipe here the epiglot is closes the larynx side then the food particles enters into the esophagus directly if the food part if, if there is no epiglottic the food will be a uh, chance to enter into the larynx this causes as the cough this is about the epiglottis Next, uh, discuss about the diastolic blood pressure and the systolic blood pressure. The systolic blood pressure reading is the high number. The diastolic BP reading low number. The uh, units measured in the form of millimeters of mer mercury. Here you can see normal blood pressure value is 120 by 80 millimeter of mercury. Here you have to know diastole and uh, systole is, are the two phases of the cardiac cycle. So systole occurs when the heart contracts um, pumping blood out. Diastole takes place when the heart relaxes after the contraction. Systolic value is 120 and the diastolic value is 80 as, you, as we all know that. Hypertension and hypotension. Hyper means more than the normal BP. Hypo means lower than the normal BP. Hypertension is defined as the systolic BP greater than 130 or diastolic blood pressure greater than the 80. Blood pressure rating of 90 by 60 or lower hypotension. Means blood is not fully flowing to your brain, arteries and organs. This is about hypertension. Mostly they are asking about the 
definition of hypertension and uh, symptoms these all they are asking mainly you can say the symptoms like uh, sweating uh, severe uh, neck pain like you can say as we all know so many people are facing the bp issues right this is about the hypo and hypertension so they will in the written test they will they will give us a one question about uh, labeling so i i took the example of uh, urinary system uh, in the respiratory system they might give lungs and in integumentary system skin skeleton system ribs and spine uh, in the reproductive system male and uh, female reproductive system they may ask and in the urinary system this is the diagram i already mentioned over here and in the circulatory system they will give the heart we have to know the labelings of these all diagrams and they may ask us a few full forms uh, i mentioned only a few full forms so here you can see hiv aids dct pct hiv means a human immunodeficiency virus uh, AIDS means acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. DCT means a distal convalent tube. PCT proximal convalent tube. These two are uh, we can see in the nephron diagram. PHP parathyroid hormone, which is endocrine system. PCOD. It is a disease we can see it in mostly humans sorry female in humans female FSH it is also hormone for females follicle stimulating hormone yeah they may ask a few medical terminologies I have mentioned only for uh, uh, four words ectomy means a surgical removal of a something you can take example append example of ectomy is appendectomy remove of appendix orchi means a testis which is uh, i don't know diseases uh, about archi mm. onico a finger or toenails pathi disease or diseases process thank you thanks for watching please do like share and subscribe to my channel please support me guys it will help me to do more videos thank you